They say it's gonna take a couple of months and it turns into four months, fucking shortages. Hey guys, welcome back to HRG TV, where we do dumb stuff and also talk about dumb stuff. And the dumb stuff that I wanna talk about today is fucking shortages. There's a constant shortage of something. It doesn't matter what you're trying to buy. There's always a, a shortage of it or they're, they're out or you can't get it or it's a delayed. And I mean, it's starting to drive me crazy. As this pertains to HRG and you guys, the people who are buying our lift kits, it's steel. Don't have it, can't get it. I, if I had a dollar for every time I've heard those words in the last six months, well, I could retire. The, the main thing that we're having a problem with is DOM tubing, drawn over mandel tubing, which goes in a lot of our lift kits. This is like with the stuff we cut centers out of, and then this stuff here, the stuff we cut our little body spacers out of, and then there's other little things that we cut, and you can't get it. The steel mills prioritize more popular shapes and sizes over others. A lot of the stuff that we carry isn't a popular size and it gets bumped down the list of priority for the steel mills and therefore you can't get it. They say it's gonna take a couple of months and it turns into four months and that's what's happening right now. If you guys have ordered a kit in the last few weeks and it's been delayed, it's probably because it requires these little spacers right here. Now normally we'd make these out of steel, we just cut them on our saw and throw them in the powder coat and they come back looking like this. But lately, we can't get that material. So now, what we can get is this aluminum right here. And as you can see, it doesn't have a hole in the middle, so we have to drill the hole. And this happened earlier in the year, I think April it was, we were running out of those and we couldn't get the steel, so we got the aluminum and we were drilling them. And then the drill press burned up. It's a couple of days there. Then I actually bought this brand new drill press. It's a nice Bailey unit and that's been working fine ever since. But doesn't change the fact that it takes forever to drill these little suckers. And a lot of them don't come out in the center because we're using a drill press, which is not the proper tool to do what we're doing. I know that. And because it's not part of our business plan to, to constantly be drilling these out, I have not yet bought a lathe, which is the proper tool. Oh, how cute this is. It's like a lathe, only smaller. Oh, it's just a baby, just a little baby one. Now it looks like we're not gonna have this material, the proper material, until the end of the year. So I'm gonna buy a lathe and it's gonna be a lot easier, it's gonna be a lot better, faster, etc., etc. So I know the lathe will come in handy for other stuff, so it's not a big deal. But I just wanted to explain to you guys like what this, the kind of crap we deal with here. What do we do, what do you do, I don't know. We, we can't make the steel, we have to buy it. And you know, we can't make our kits out of and plastic or whatever so we have to just do what we can do and do the best we can we may actually unfortunately end up running out of some things and have to put some stuff out of stock until the material comes back in and there's no way to know when that's going to happen but i think everything's going to work out just fine in the end I hey guys it is now december 2021 and i wanted to do a quick update on our shortages situation and the solution that we came up with to overcome it so as you guys know in the previous part of this video i talked about not being able to get this particular material here this is 1.25 dom tubing that we used to use for the subframe kits I guess it's been about four months now since we've gotten any of that in stock. And in the meantime, obviously, we were cutting it out of aluminum bar, drilling holes with our drill press. Not the ideal situation. It was all supposed to be temporary because we were we were continuously told we were going to get that material back in stock in a, in a month, a couple weeks. It stretched into four months. The most recent promise was that we would get at the end of November, and now it is late December, and we still do not have that material. So I decided to come up with a permanent solution to this problem, and that is switching completely over to aluminum. Aluminum is much easier to acquire than steel, apparently. Instead of them being made out of steel, from now on, they're going to be made of aluminum. Take a look at that. This is going to be the future of all of our subframe kits right here. I mean, I have to say, I think this looks pretty good. And really, honestly, we need thousands of them at this point. This is a much more permanent solution, and all of our subframe spacers are gonna be like this from now on, and we won't run out again. It's been an ongoing theme with us, not being able to get the parts 
because we just can't get the materials. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to bring you up to speed on what's going on with the promise of us solving each problem as it comes and making our company better and better as we go. And that is one of the biggest things recently that we've had to deal with was the shortages. So that's our solution and I hope you guys like it and I'll see you in the next video. Why does it always end this way? <laughs>